welcome to my channel my name is Wolo happy new month to you and to everyone who have subscribed to my channel I want to say a very big thank you this is the month of October and it's gonna be a game changer for everybody in Canada especially because of the elections we don't know which programs which immigration programs will change after the elections or if they will remain the same after the election so that's the information I want to share um, there's actually one program that's supposed to start up after the election, which is the Rural and Northern Immigration Pilot, which I'm going to talk about on a separate video. Um, I've, I've actually been talking about them, but I'll show you details concerning that in a separate video. Today is dedicated to one of the frequently asked questions about immigrating to Canada, and that is how to start the process. How do I start the process of immigrating to Canada? So I'll be showing you on different websites what to do. The first step is to evaluate your credentials. And when I mean evaluating your credentials, you have to apply for your credentials to be evaluated by an organization that has been approved by the Immigration and Refugee Citizenship Canada. And um, we have WES. WES is popular. WES is the World Education Services. It's very popular amongst people. And um, there's also another body called ICAS, which is also which is also fairly popular. So you also have the International Evaluation Credential Services, that's ICES. That's also one of the evaluating bodies. And you have um, you have the Comparative Education Services, which is um, managed by the University of Toronto. And you also have one which is the International Credential Evaluation Assessment services of canada so these are the five evaluating bodies but west is popular the most popular of all of them um it you, you are not restricted to use it west you can use any of the organizations that i have mentioned i'll be leaving the links of this website and also show you how to create your um uh, profile on west so this is the website for west west is world education service and um here once you type in www.west.org sometimes it takes to west united states but it's important that you change it to west canada so i'll click on west canada here and then you click on get started and click on apply now and then choose canada and then choose eca application for ircc so eca application for ircc is different from west standard application please remember that whenever you want to immigrate it's important to choose eca application for ircc once you click on it it will take you to the next page where you have to create your account you put your first name second name last name and just put in um, all the necessary details and then um, click create account the next credential evaluating body is also is managed by the alberta government and it is the international qualifications assessment you can see the link on the website here so once you enter this page you scroll down and click on icas for immigration purposes there are two different um evaluations one is for work one is for immigration so you have to choose the one for immigration purposes once you click the one on immigration purposes, it takes you to this page. You click on how to apply, and then it takes you to the next page. You can scroll down to read all the information that is required in terms of credentials, the institution, um, how they recognize the, your, your credential, especially for engineering, for people who attended technical schools like um, polytechnics, you know all this information are presented here but you can and then you scroll down once you scroll down you will see start your app online application click on it and it will take you to this page where you can create your account so once you create your account you can submit and then follow the instructions provided on the website for persons in the medical professions like people who are medical doctors um you, you cannot evaluate your credentials with either WES or ICAS. You can only evaluate your credential with the Medical Council of Canada. So this is the website of the Medical Council of Canada. And then you scroll down, you find all the information you need. And um, most times the application to evaluate your credential is done in a separate website called um, Physicians Apply. So once you click on Physicians Apply, it automatically takes you to the website for physiciansapply.ca 
and this is where you have to um you know log in create an account log in and you will find all the details now details necessary to evaluate your credential as a physician or as a medical doctor for pharmacists um the evaluating body is also different so this is the website where pharmacists would evaluate their credentials and it is called the pharmacy examining board of canada pebc of canada so this is where you find information on how to evaluate your credential as a pharmacist you click here for international graduates and then just follow the step-by-step -step instruction on document evaluation for pharmacists so i've shown you how to start the process of evaluating your credential it's important that you start with this process because Evaluating credential takes a very long time. For some schools, it takes like six months. Some take as much as one year. So it's important you start with evaluating your credential. Now, one of the most frequently asked questions on credential is, um, I don't have a college or university degree. I don't have a polytechnic certificate. Can I still evaluate my credential? Yes. Even if you have a West African um, examination certificate which is WIEC or a NECO you need to still evaluate your credential and recently um, West has removed the requirement of um, applying for credential evaluation with WIEC so that's a good news instead of spending so much money on adding WIEC West has now removed that um, requirement so you can only evaluate your university degree or your polytechnic um, certificates. So uh, we're talking about the second requirement that is needed to create an express entry profile. The second requirement is the language requirement. The language requirement has um, two languages because Canada is a bilingual country. You have the English and you have the French. So there are two organizations that are recognized for conducting the language test. The first organization is the CELPIP and the CELPIP is the Canadian Language Proficiency index program i'm looking at my paper to pronounce it very well so the CELPIP is one of the organization that um conducts language tests the second organization that conducts language tests is the ielts for CELPIP, there are two organizations that can administer the test and one is the university of british columbia and the second is um the paragon testing enterprise those are the two organizations that administer cell pip while ielts has three organizations that administer the exams and the first one is the british council the second is idp of australia and the third is cambridge assessment which i will show you um, shortly in a video on how to find a test location and book a test using any of the three um, organizations that administer the ielts testing system so this is the website for IELTS. It's www.ielts.org. It is called International English Language Testing System. And um, you can click here to book a test or choose to find a test location. So you, when you, once you click find a test location, it takes you to the next page where you can click select and then scroll down and choose which country you live in anywhere in the world you can choose any country it has 1600 test locations in over 140 countries and territories in the world so you can choose your the country you live in then click on find test location remember the test you're supposed to be writing is the ielts general training test as mentioned here because there are two types you have the IELTS Academic and the IELTS General General Training. The IELTS Academic is for people who want to go to school, and most universities in um, US and Canada, most times they request for IELTS Academic results. So if you if you want to go to school, you have to do IELTS Academic. But if what you want is for immigration, you have to choose the IELTS General Training and there are three organizations that administer the ielts testing system and the first one is the british council the second is idp which is the australian government and the third is cambridge 
assessment english so you can choose any one um out of the three to register for your ielts if you choose if you click on british council it takes you straight to the british council website and from here you can choose take an exam and then go ahead and choose the type of exam you want to um write or you can um or you can choose idp once you choose idp it takes you to the idp web page here you can click on visit our ielts website and click on book a test even preparation what you need to prepare for the ielts you can find them on the website and then finally you have the cambridge assessment english and here you click on exams and tests once you click on exams and tests you you will find IELTS here. Click on IELTS and then click on book a test here. So, so for the French language requirements, we have the TEF or TEF, which is the Test d'Evaluation Française, which is um, administered by the Paris Chamber of Commerce. And then you also have the TCF, which is the Test de Connaissance Française, which is administered by the Ministry of Education in Paris. So these two exams, um, you can either write them in Alliance Francaise, you can take them in Alliance Francaise. The language requirement is very important because without the language requirement, it's, it will be very difficult for you to create an express entry profile. In fact, it is the number one requirement, but because um, evaluating the credential takes a longer time, that is why I mentioned that um, it's important to evaluate the credential first before writing the IELTS exam and the IELTS exam also has an expiry date so um, within two years it expires so it, it doesn't make any sense um, writing the IELTS exam and then waiting for your credentials to be evaluated it's very important that you evaluate your credentials first once you have it handy you can always write the exam and it even gives you enough time to write IELTS exam or the French exam, any of them. It gives you enough time to prepare for it. And the exams are scheduled twice in a month or once in a month, depending on the location you are, you know. So it's very important to also um, get the highest band um, of um, IELTS. And you'll be asking, how do I prepare for the exam? There are lots of preparatory materials online. There are lots of um, information even on the IELTS.org website that you can use to prepare yourself for the exams. And all you need to do is just keep preparing while you are evaluating your credential. Just keep preparing, 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 and you'll be able to get the highest band um, scores. But if you get a score and you feel that you are not happy with one of the factors or one of the scores maybe you had an eight in listening a nine in reading uh, a seven in speaking and a six in writing you can actually request for a remark for the writing and the requesting for a remark is not as expensive as um, writing the full exams again but if your scores are too low as in very low maybe you have a is an IELTS band 5 or band 5.5 or 6 it's very important that you just rewrite the exams so now some of the most frequently asked questions on language requirements number one is I am a caregiver I want to apply for the caregiver pilot program do I need to evaluate my credentials or write the IELTS exam yes you need to evaluate your credentials and write the ielts exam because they are the two requirements you need if you get a caregiving offer by the time you're applying for a work permit you're also required to um, apply for a permanent resident status and for you to apply for a permanent resident status you need to have your credentials evaluated and also your ielts which is the language re requirement i am a welder and i would like to apply for the um AIPP or the Rural and Northern Immigration Pilot or the Modern um, Immigration. Do I need to write the um, language exams or IELTS exams or do I need to evaluate my credentials? Yes, you need to write the language exams, which is IELTS or CELPIP or TCF or TEF. 
and you also need to evaluate your credentials so in a nutshell there is no way you can immigrate to canada without writing the language uh, requirements or language exams or evaluating your credentials because those are the very two important documents that you will use to apply for any of the immigration pathway but if you're coming under a work permit at the time of your work permit issuance you might not be required to um, write the exams but the moment you decide to immigrate and say you want to become a permanent resident in Canada you will be required to write the exams you also will be needing the results, the results of your test, your language test, when you apply for citizenship. So I hope I have answered most of the frequently asked questions concerning um, evaluating credentials and writing the language exams. And thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.